What's up, YouTube? What's going on, everybody? How's everything? Hey, AG Surfer, what's going on, brother? How's everything? Dr. Von Chilla in the house here. We got Dante the Scrub. What's going on? How's everything, guys? What's new? What you guys been up to? Anything good? Doom. What's up, brother? How's everything? So, uh, it's been a busy week. Hey, Mike, what's going on, Joker? How's everything? Man, the comic collector, Jeff G's in the house. D-Run Comics is in the house. Uh, what's up to everybody that's out there? Let's sub each other up, get these things moving. Um, what's first things first? First things first, uh, got some business cards made up. So, uh, it's official, you know. Uh, business has been picking up so much that, uh, it's time I, I, I get asked quite often for business cards. So I got these little boys done. So, you know, pretty simple concept. Something I love the most, Wolverine there. Uh, X-Press Comics, comic book pressing service. It'll play on the X-Men word, you know. So comic book lover Omega, Ruben Nieves, what's going on? Um, So Gorilla Grodd, how's everything? So, uh, you know. This is, this will be out there. What I'll probably do is post uh somewhere along here. I, I'll I'll put it along on my videos that way. If anybody needs any pressing or cleaning, you know, just hit me on uh, the one in fifty variant business card. This is it. This is the rare. There's one. There's a rare exclusive one of these. To them. <laughs> so um, talking about like variants, Detective Comics came out and holy shit, did they put out a shitload of variants for that? And there were some really nice ones, but one or two of them that kind of went under the radar. Uh, I think, um, what you call Midtown has a really nice one. I think it was at the Matina one. It's the, the, the gatefold Batman. It's got all different Batmans. I like that one a lot. Um, Hey, biggies, what's going on? Yeah. That the Alex Ross one, I missed that by seconds, and that thing sold out instantly. You see what the price is going for? It's it's one of the higher Alex Ross books. I think it's going for like two hundred dollars for that reenactment, that recreation picture. Although I actually like the, uh, the the set that came with it, the other one, the Batman pose. I thought that was great. Del Otto has a really nice one. Oh, uh, but Clayton Clayton Crane did a couple of Scorpion. I picked up. These are pretty nice. It's got the Virgin and the regular one. Um, that's right. Doom's visiting a uh, real town now. No more warm weather. He's out here in a little bit of cold. Uh, just chilling. Then uh, you had what I think is one of the best. And I think that Perillo draws one of the best Joker covers. That covers fire. That's insane. But yeah, the regular the trade cover and Thorough, what's going on, kid? Yeah, the Virgin variant for it. This is good stock. It's a thick book. Um very, very nice. His joker is crazy. I just love it. Man, the comic collectors in the house. What's going on? So, um, I really like this. Does a good Batman, does a way better Joker. Catwoman ain't bad either. You know, Perillo killed it on this. Great, great cover. I thought it was one of the best Batman covers uh, out there. Uh, Detectives. But this is the one that slipped under the radar. Now, let me open this up. I just want to show you this. Guy, so. um, if you're a sketch guy, or you like to go to cons and get the sketches, this was this was probably the most uh, underpublished of all of them. Scorpion Comics did a all black one, so it's a black blank, um, and it's not a glossy finish. It's got that good finish to to get a sketch done on it, um, and both front and back, just a small logo on there. Along there, so uh, these they only made a thousand of these, 
if you look on eBay, they're selling for like 70 bucks a piece. I think when they went on sale on the site, they were a little more or maybe a little less, but they're going for 70, 75. Yeah, exactly. It's almost like a, a, a matte black. Um, if you can get somebody that knows how to work with negative space and everything, you can get five areas. So I'm trying to pick out who I'm going to utilize to do that and get get one of those dumb blind what's going on oh j rod hi i'm j rod ham 78s in the house wobbles is here also uh uh ruben Yevis is going to get his signed when he goes to megacon by perillo all right who else is in the house here uh, i'm trying to see uh mr d how's everything but if I had to pick one of those newer variants, that um, Scorpion had a booth at C2E2, and they had some C2E2 exclusives, and they limited these books to 500, and then they did a foil variant, which um, was up on uh, the Big Line Cats auction the other day. They had, they ran a really good auction, and they had, a, they had a foil for this book signed by Perillo, which I loved. I thought it was great. Right, that, that's what I'm talking about. Doom, Doom saying, imagine a gold sketch from Neil Adams on that black. I'm thinking of somebody like that, a Neil Adams, or somebody just just a great artist that could work with that negative space, using either the gold or the silver. Somebody suggested me, maybe even a Joker cover, or how about this, Batman on the front, Joker on the back. Oh my God, maybe two different artists just to see what what they can do, get them battling against each other. Hey, amazing Murphinator, what's going on? Yeah, April Fool's, Murph. Yeah, haha. Fuck you and the the uh, Red Sox and your fucking New England Patriots. Um, but anyway, this right here, uh, Batman Who Laughs, number one. Look at that. That's another Perillo. I'm a huge Perillo fan. Um, I think this guy might be better than Del Otto. His detail is even better. But he did that and that virgin. Wow. That's all I can say is wow. Um, and they were numbered to 500, as you can see. So this is the one thing I am liking. As long as they are honest with it and accurate with it, that they're holding their stock to 500 of each. And not somewhere along the line releasing more without certificates, then that would be a problem. But if they're just holding this stock to 500, it makes it that much more collectible. So uh, I like that. I like that. We shall see, though, what happens somewhere down the line. You know, sometimes these guys run a little short on cash. And I'm not saying Scorpion is, but companies do that. So, um, what else I got here? Been hitting up some of our YouTube auctions, picking up books here and there. Arsenio Ramos, what's going on? Pope Cerebus, Anthony Chacon, how's everything? Um, Pink Lemonade today, bro. I've been doing my intermittent fasting, working out hard, getting older. Got to take care of myself. Stay in shape, bro. Stay in shape. So no calories to have, though. Got to have some beers. But so um trying to think of whose auction it was, but Need More Comics was on there. And everybody, if you haven't sub subbed him up, another good guy uh, on the community that you guys should be checking out there. Scott Farr, what's going on? Yeah, I got it, Scott. I, I saw that. I, I was running a raffle out there uh, on Instagram. If you guys are ever interested in raffles, check it out. Take a look at uh, Instagram. I always run raffles on there. Make them affordable, $2 a spot. You know, get the opportunity to try and win something. Hey, Prowl is 671. How's everything? So, uh, Nemo Comics had a lot there that I really liked. And uh, this was the throw-in because he knows I'm a big Logic fan. So, recreation there of uh, Tarantino, Bobby Tarantino. Um, Civil War Two. This is... The 
blank there. Um, you guys all know where I'm leading with this here. It's that's the death of Bruce Banner, which leads into Immortal Hulk. So I was able to get Immortal Hulk number two. All first prints here. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. I see there's a, a printing error variant on this that people keep talking about. I haven't looked at the colors and what colors are rough. If anybody knows in the chat, I'll put it out there just in case so that if anybody's looking for it, they run into it. Number eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, which is another semi key there. Uh, Captain Joker says, uh, Captain America is red, that's the color era variant. There we go. Scott Farr, you're a Joe, you're a Jays fan, living in Red Sox Nation. That's terrible. The only thing worse than that could be a Yankee fan living over there. Although I did hit Toronto last year for the first time. I actually, um, for those that don't know, I try and hit a different stadium every year. So I'm down to I need six stadiums to go, and I've done all the Major League Baseball stadiums. I'm actually revisiting a couple of them now and then, just to uh, stuff that I hadn't seen in such a long time. So my youngest son was little when he went there. Trying to hit it. Might be hitting Minnesota this year. Do a full trip there. I'm going to do Minnesota. Uh, drive into, um, what you call it, Milwaukee. And then do Wrigley after that. Make it a nice little trip. So, I've been there. Miller Park was actually really nice. I actually got to, got to go there. Uh, but it's been a long time. I haven't been to Miller Park since, uh, I think it's 05. 0506. So, but uh, also got number 13. Variant edition for number 13. And number 14. So, all in all, a, a nice lot. I uh, want to thank Need More Comics, Mo's good dude. Um, gave me a great lot there with a little extra throw in there. So happy with that. Seattle is one of the team, one of the places I haven't gone to. Uh, I've done everything East Coast, some West Coast stuff. I did all of California uh, two years ago. So uh, everything I'm gotta go to, I gotta go Seattle, uh, Colorado, uh, Minnesota. I gotta redo Atlanta for the new stadium. Um, Kansas City. And there's one more place, but then then I'm done. It's been a, it's been a journey with the family, and we all go. It's actually pretty cool. Um, kids like it. Wife got to learn learn to like it. Now she's a bigger baseball fan than almost everybody in the house, so it's actually pretty good. <laughs> been to City Field. I hate to say it, but City Field is nice, bro. I think their concessions and everything were better than Yankee Stadium's concessions. Old Yankee Stadium, you can't touch that. That was the chapel. Right there. There was nothing like that. If my man Manny NYC was here, he'd be telling you the same thing. Um, here's a little something I haven't done. I don't normally do, but I just, uh, as I was leaving for work, got some packages in today. So, do a little mail call unboxing. If you ever see these things, these things are great. Um, look on, uh, like, uh, Amazon, and these things won't cut, you know, and ruin stuff. But still cuts paper and everything. It's pretty safe. Better than a razor blade. It's kind of like childproof and stuff like that. So if you got little kids, it's good. They work really good. My top three knights of old. If I had to put them in order, um, PNC Park in Pittsburgh was phenomenal. Love that. I'm gonna revisit that this year. Uh, I love San Francisco. San Francisco was awesome. Just everything about that stadium was 
phenomenal. And then third, it's it's probably Yankee Stadium for me. But if it has to be an outside stadium, um, that's a hard one because Fenway was really cool. The whole ambiance, the Fenway and Wrigley, both of them have just that great, 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 great ambiance. It's just beautiful. Aha, yes. Picked this up recently. Batman number 583. First appearance of the ventriloquist and Scarface. Uh, if you watch my uh, Is it Slab Worthy, this is a book I'm specking on here. 9 8 in this book right now carries a nice little premium, but yet you can get this affordably right now. Book you might want to look into. Take a look at the numbers on this. A uh, definite book that you might want to look into. <laughs> Wobbles said, not, not, Thank you, Wobbles. Yeah, um. I, I had a good time over there in Toronto. It was it was pretty nice. Um, I stayed in the stadium in the hotel, you know, the hotel in the stadium, which was awesome. It was awesome. Just got to – I could watch the game from my window. You know, we got there on a Friday. We stayed there till like, Monday. Um, did the whole Niagara Falls. We did the Niagara Falls from the New York side. We did, we did that big observatory that you guys have right there right across from the stadium. Um, very cool. You know what? I I was I've been to uh, Progressive twice, and I, I liked it. Uh, I, I I thought that was pretty cool. Um, you know what? I liked it. That was pretty pretty cool. I like I like to see like I do the tours of the stadiums and all of that stuff. And um, when you when you park your car in Progressive, um, it's on a big downward slope where the parking lot is. So they they load you up in these little golf carts and drive you up the ramp and everything like that. So the kids got a kick out of that when they were younger. And I went there when the uh, teams were pretty good. So been there twice. Uh, first time I went, I went to Pittsburgh and then drove over there, being that it's so close. It's, you know, a couple hours drive. And then the second time when I did the Detroit trip, I did uh, – I went Detroit. I'm trying to think what I did. Uh, Detroit, Cleveland, St. Louis, I believe it was, or something like that. And then in Cleveland, we also hit uh, Sandusky Park, which is probably the biggest uh, roller coaster place. It was phenomenal. Yeah, Atlanta Braves Stadium. I went to the old stadium, and I wasn't impressed. It was an old stadium. Yeah, no, I've been there, I've been there Jeff G. It, it was nice. It was really nice. Uh, watched the Yankees play there one time, and then I went – just for another game there just to go. It was pretty cool. What do we got here? Let's take a look. I don't even know what I got here. I'm opening boxes. I don't even know what I'm opening. Let's see. Oh, okay. Purchased these on Instagram. I got these for a very nice price. It's uh, Batgirl number one. Uh, signed by uh, Gail Simone and Adam Hughes. And JSA Classified, number one. Also signed by Adam Hughes. Um, these were on Instagram, and I got a really good price for these, for both of these. A real good deal. I was happy with this. You know? You signed it twice. It's double signed there. Or is one of them his original signature on it? I don't think he has an original on this, so. Really nice. I'll take that. I think this is the second print on the back row. Because the colors are different. Yeah, <laughs> Biggie said 10 already. Yeah, a little more than 10 for this. For this. Um. Never know. Things do make their way on the auction that I think I'm going to hold on to. Gomez, what's going on? Hey, Ed D, what's going on? How's everything? I'm just going to take a look. I believe it's the second print. I believe because of colors, it's it's a purple on the first print. More purple, no red on there. Yep, second print. Second print. Ah, okay. Mr. D said gray is the third print. 
Green is the first. First, the second print. Thanks, Gomez and everybody else there. And we got a bidding war. Big Lion one seventeen. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty funny. You guys are funny. Yeah, it's, it is the number two. It's on the back end. That's what I looked at afterwards. Um, and then we got one more box here. AG Surfer, you fold it? Don't run weak on me, bro. You never know what I might put out there as a backup to this. Add a little something. I know I always got something to add. No, the purchase I got, I got, I believe this, I got this from PGX, PGH Comic Collector. Um, it's a second print also, but uh, it's Chu number one, second print, signed by Gilroy, and uh, I forgot who the other guy is on this, but uh, two nice books, man. If you haven't read Chu, that was a great, great story arc there. A lot of fun. This was a fun, fun book. This is when I, I loved a lot of the image stuff that was coming out here. Um, Peter Panzerforst, Chu, Invincible, you know, The Walking Dead was out at that time. They were just putting out book after book after book with different creators putting out some really good content. And they're back at it again with Die and a bunch of other books that they've written right now. Um, just exciting stuff you know it doesn't always have to be about superheroes uh great play on words his last name is chu but he also has the ability to that anything he could he bites he could see what happens within that that uh that item's lifetime uh, great stuff great stuff so that was that good stuff Hit the flea market this weekend. Not much there, but I did find buck a piece. I'll take them. Got him number four. What's that first scream? And then uh, Venom number two, second print variant. If it was number one, it's a better book. It's a twenty-five dollar book. But this is a nice second print variant right there. Uh, recreation of uh, ASM three hundred. So nice book. Nice, nice book. Very happy to get that. Um, next three books I picked up from Gills, who, if you guys have seen that amazing find that he had on YouTube, his YouTube channel, check it out. He's a great friend. That he sells a lot of books, and the guy is awesome. Like he always does a lot of. Um, whenever I buy something from him, he always puts a little extra in there. So uh, what I did, I I bought. Redneck number one from him. Uh, good price. Donnie Cates here. Book turn into a movie at any time. I, I think it will be a better TV series than a movie. But, uh, you know, always a spec book. Good good writing by Donnie Cates there. Spider-Man Life Story. What's, uh, what's that? The Spider-Man Blue, the new one that just came out, where they're doing his, his story arc as he's going along. That was really good. I enjoyed that. I read that the other day. Um, I also got this from him. Harbinger Pink, and for those that don't know about this, this is the book. Uh, basically, Harbinger's one through six, you had to cut out coupons. True in the book, but uh, if you send them in, you were able to get the pink. Um, probably the second best book in the Harbinger run. Great story arc if you've ever read it. Um, Faith comes out of it and a bunch of other characters. But... Uh, a Harbinger 1, which for the longest time was one of the harder books to get in a 9-8 because of issues with staples where on the staples you would get a split on the book because of the way the binding was. There weren't too many 9-8s for a long time. That was like $1,200, $1,300 book. Uh, it's it's still probably like a seven $700 book in a 9-8, um, but there are more of them in the census than there were before. But if Bloodshot 
takes off, and then you have characters like Ninjack, Harbinger is like a superhero team. So that's another book that just a spec book. Those Valiants, if that Valiant universe takes off. Um, Biggs was asking how much longer on my contest. So I have 11 entries in there now. If you look on my channel, you could see under my playlist, there's 11 entries. I was going to read them off. I forgot my paper upstairs. But we've still got a couple of weeks to go. We're going to go until... Uh, I'm going to go till April 28th on the contest, all right? So you have until April, April 28th to put in your entry. Um, there'll be some giveaways. There's a $25 gift card. Of course, you're going to get five free presses, and I'll add some more stuff in there just to make it interesting. Uh, I, I, I extend it. I'm going to go April 28th. We'll just go a little longer, all right? There, uh, comic book seat. Give everybody a chance. But uh, as I was saying, and, and then Gil's through this in 638. Um, early stuff, early Red Hood stuff, you know, just as a throw in. I mean, super nice to the guy, super, super nice. Uh, picked this up, was watching an auction, and uh, actually, Bees was watching an auction on YouTube, and we were all checking it out, just seeing if he had the opportunity to win. And I saw that this person was selling the books, were coming from Germany, but he had a really clean copy of uh. Fantastic Four, number 64. And this this century is a Kree century that was planted in there many years, in, a, in you know, many years ago and then is activated. So, you know, for a white background, this, this book is pretty clean. Jack Kirby goodness. Got this for 10 bucks plus shipping. So I'll take that. I'll take that every day. Um, and then this coming Saturday... Um, Bill Sienkiewicz is going to be at uh, a museum. He's being honored as uh, an artist there. So uh, myself and a couple of the other New York Warriors, I believe Manny and Jeff Johnson are going to go there to get his autograph. So um, this is a book that I, I fell in love with once I saw it. Um, yeah, it's pretty white, right, Jeff? It's not bad. It's, it's off-white, but it's pretty nice. And Okay, Dante the Scrub is going to be there for Sienkiewicz, too. So just say hello, Dante. You know, we'll, we'll say what's up. Introduce yourself. Um, I picked up this. That Doom is fire. <sighs> Love it. Love it. No, he's out for 10 days. When did you see uh, J-Rod Ham saying we lost uh, our third baseman for the year? Unless something else was announced, I had heard it was only 10 days. And Duhar got hurt for longer. Yeah, I loved I loved that whole the red and the orange there. That's insane. But I want to get him here in that black space there. And either silver, which will match off theirs, or gold. You have some gold there. So either one. Usually the gold I, I like better because it pops. Oh, he's got a torn labrum. I did not know that. Shit. That's all right. We got so many guys in, in there in reserve. We'll be fine. The other book I'm going to get, I, I, I got two books. I got two books that uh, I got for him. I want to get also uh, some of his earlier work, uh, Wolverine number 10, a classic, iconic cover with him battle, battling Sabretooth in that snow background. Oh, for those of you that don't know, Sinkiewicz did a run of Wolverine in the early Wolverine covers. So uh, I'm going to do that. Yeah, AG Surfer, you know those gold paint pens, whew, they pop. Oh, Mr. D said he got this sign from uh, Bill Sienkiewicz in, off his site. Um, another book that I've been specking on a little bit here, eBay purchase for me. Um, Amazing Spider-Man number 265. It's a first silver, first silver sable, right? So nice book. Nice spec book. Book is clean. Needs a press. But just from reviewing it, it's probably in that 9-4-ish category. Hopefully I can get it a little higher. 9-4, 9-6 category after a pressing. See where it goes. But uh, I tell you, I hate 
getting buying from vendors and getting old bags. You know, it looks like a reused bag. Things all warped out and wrinkled. And all that. See? Just, I never send anybody books with shit bags like that. But as long as the book was okay and it was packed good, which it was, I'm happy. Um, yes, there's always the silver. There's a silver, which is a silver variant on this, Jeff G. They have it for this. They have it for 361. And 101 has one also. I know those three for sure have the silver variants on them. Yeah, see, Dante the Scrub says uh, those old wrinkle bags get them tight. Feels like <laughs> AIDS on your book. There you go. Got to change that bitch out and fucking put the clean panties. As my man Doom says, put the clean panties on her. Can't have my hoes out there running around looking raggedy. Got to get them nice and fresh. <laughs> Let me stop. I, I, it's funny. I, I've been pressing some books for a customer, and I see that. That often, you know, people have their older books, and I, I've made suggestions to some guys, you know, might want to protect your collection and change out your bags and boards every five to seven years. At least your keys, um, change them out. I, you know, I, I had a book from somebody that was so old, all the ink had transferred to the back of the backing board. So you're losing ink on the back of your cover. You know, that can't be good. Yeah, Polly versus Mylar. I'm a Mylar proponent. Um, I do Mylar on any book that I deem worthy of my collection. Usually I have a $40 starting point. Any book with a $40 value or more, I put in Mylar if I can, just to protect them. That's just my opinion. You know, there's a big debate on that, Steve. But that's definitely what I do with my books. But, you know, I just see it and you see it. Some of these bags are horrible. They're really old. You know, it's just older collections. So I, I believe in changing them out. I don't use top loaders. I, I I know certain guys do. I know Doom does. Alex does. I like them. I think to carry the book or ship the book out, they do a lot better. But um, it's an extra protection, but it's just I think they take up a lot of space. I lose space. Yes, my light twos, Dante. I use my light twos with uh, – Full backing boards. Uh, it's the what, the 125s, I believe it is, or whatever it is, 725s. I use the 725s. And I order my bags and boards through eGerber. It's the way I order them all the time. If you buy from eGerber in bulk, you get a reduced rate. They hit you on the shipping, but it's still well worth it. Right. They get, as Doom was saying, with the top loaders, they get scratched easy. Comic book art. What's going on? How's everything? All right. So, uh, went to a honey hole recently. I got a little spot that I visit every couple of months, and the guy never lets me down. There's always good books in there. So I'll show you what I picked up there. This is all one visiting, and I pay cash. He gives me like knocks ten to fifteen percent off. So it's all that goodness, you know. He's a he. He gets it. He's got a shop. He knows he's moving inventory. Picked up this great Wonder Woman bondage right here. 67. I mean, she's jacked. She got a black eye and everything here. Uh, I believe that's Steve Trevor right there, right? Chained up. But like that a lot. Like that a lot. And... What else did I get here? Wonder Woman number 83. Uh, saw this on an auction recently. Don't know who had it. Somebody had this on an auction. Sold it. <laughs> she saw Kareem Hunt in the lobby. <laughs> That's right. Always got to have your little stash spots. Picked up this here. Tales of the Teen Titans number 42. Anybody know significance of this book? Let's see who knows what they do. I know, see, big sold that Wonder Woman. I'm just busting chops because it was on auto auction. Uh, anybody know significance of this book here? Minor key. Definitely a minor key. Uh, got one or two, a couple little ticks on the side. But, nope. 
Not Deathstroke Origin. Deathstroke Origin is 44. I believe. All right. So first appearance of Jacob. Jacob becomes Jericho. Right. So this is where the Judas contract starts. This is your first appearance of Jacob, who in turn becomes Jericho in issue 44. Jericho has been announced to be in the next Titan series. So take this 42, 43, 44. Nice little bundle. You got a very good Teen Titans bundle. All George Perez goodness. What do you think? I think it'll sell. This is the cover I'm talking about. You guys know that this was Bill Sienkiewicz? I didn't. But his old signature was a BS on the bottom corner. It's right there. It's hard to see, but take away. So, I just want to get this signed by him, too. Love it. <laughs> right in the white snow. Right along there. Couldn't pass this one. George Press is coming to uh, East Coast. Wonder Woman number one. Yeah, uh, I, I plan on doing my usual window bag and boarding, and then I'll probably press them out. They're going to go through CBCS. So. Todd McFarlane goodness there, 423. Nice, nice. Yeah, this, this, this book is basically where you got everything as far as her origin, where she comes from, the mascara and all of that stuff. George Perez did all of that stuff. Everything you saw in that movie, a lot of that was based off the George Perez run. Um, but iconic cover right there. What else? Oh yeah, found this there too. Bowling goodness. They did a statue on this. It's so nice. So, pick that up. See, my aspiration is to pull in holes like the Doom. If you guys have not watched the Doom's channel, watch that man keep putting out fire after fire books. I don't know where he goes, but he's always finding shit for cheap. Um, what else we got here? I got two more books. Uh, Super, super clean, high-grade copy of Batman Harlequin by the master himself, Alex Ross. Beautiful. Beautiful cover. Look at that. Love that. Even in a mile, this looks good. What else? So, so then uh, I'm going to my last book. I bought my last book from Gills also. I had seen it, and I texted him. We went back and forth on a price. It came to some way green. But like I said, he's always throwing in little extras. So he threw in this Michael Jordan, Sportsman of the Year, 1991, Sports Illustrated, with the lenticular cover there. When lenticular was a big thing. Beautiful Batman War on Crime, Alex Ross. Look at that. That's the way to do it. Sometimes, you know, you buy out, unfortunately, somebody passes and you're able to get that. You got Superman, Peace on Earth. Love these things. I mean, these things are beautiful. Shazam, 
powerful. Things have never been opened. You could tell. You just feel it. The binding is super tight on these things. Beautiful. Okay. That was a three book set. Um, I just appreciate it. And big shout out to Gills. Um, those were all throw ins. All throw ins. Oh, you can't beat that. Alex Ross, I think, is finally starting to get some love. CBA. Finally starting to get some love. His Detective Comics 1000 a Recreation of 27 is just blowing up. So if you guys were on uh, New York Warriors auction last week, you saw that I sold um, my Silver Surfer number one. It was a CBCS 4.5. And... Uh, I got another one off of grading. It's probably a little lower, probably like a 3.5, 3.0. Um, but the reason I sold my 4.5 was that um, I got this one. That, that baby is clean. Very clean. Has a few defects, but we're talking in the 6.5, maybe 7.0 range. So, book just keeps picking up heat, man. First appearance in the Fantastic Four, and this one here. Keep picking up. And the thing I loved about this um, is, look at that spine. It's not crushed at all. At all. A lot of problems. These books get crushed all the time. And if you have an improper presser, doesn't know what he's doing, he's going to crush it. I know some people have, and just not sticking up for myself or anything, um, but some people have said that anybody can press a book, and that's not true. That's like everything else. If everybody could do it, we'd all be doing it. Can anybody do it? Yes, but you have to put the work, practice, and everything else. Because there's a different way to press that book as there is to press a thick stock from the 70s and paper and everything else. You know? But that's my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for coming out. Thanks for checking out these books. I got to start putting away quite a few books here. Got kind of a mess over here in my desk area. Put no back, no backing boards. You do not put backing boards beneath the cover. I'm gonna tell you now, a backing board. Uh, Biggie said it, and you don't press a book that way. You're gonna create an additional crease if you put a backing board in beneath behind that cover. There's certain other things that you could use. If you're gonna use that backing board beneath the cover, there's something you have to do to that board so that you don't get. And you'll see it sometimes. You'll see a book and it's been pressed and it looks really good, but. The, the cover will have another line going down here. And that's because the backing board was put in there to give it substance. When they press it, you created another crease coming down the line. So um, just things that you have to figure out as you go along. It's all trial and error. So uh, again, we are in business. Just taking orders. Anybody that needs pressing, let me know. Information is right there. And uh, that's it. I don't know, uh, Biggie's, you going to do your haul today? Because uh, I know Biggie's was talking about possibly doing a haul video today. So um, if he's going on, just slide over to his channel. Check him out because he's always got good books. I got 11 subscribers. I mean, 11 entries into my contest there. If you guys get the chance, we're gonna go. I said till April twenty eighth. So uh, get your get your uh, okay, get your stuff in. New York Warriors are gonna have their uh, weekly auction tomorrow night. We start at nine thirty. We start at nine o'clock. Uh, believe it's nine thirty Eastern time. I won't be on tomorrow. Unfortunately, I have to work. But 
come out there and check out and support the New York Warriors. They always have good books out there, a lot of laughs. You never know what's going to be said on there. You know, yeah, big line. You you already have my information. If you need something pressed or anything like that, you know, hit me up. You've seen my work and everything like that. So, you know, but that's about it. Right, the auction's tomorrow. Biggs isn't going to come on with his video today, but he'll have his auction. The auction will be on tomorrow, 9.30 Eastern Central Time. Uh, Eastern State Time. Um, Arsenio, you have to go on the Mocha and look uh, look on that uh, their site for events coming up. And it's Saturday and Sunday. It's going to be there. The tickets were cheap. They were like $10. Seventeen dollars for both days, so I don't know how many items we'll be able to get signed by him. I'm hoping I can get a couple. All right, that's about it for now, guys. I appreciate you guys coming out. Thanks for the support. Until next time, peace.